हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस लाइक अ एडमिन डैशबोर्ड सपोज आई लॉग इन आई ऑलरेडी लॉग इन इज एडमिन सपोज आई एम गोइंग एडमिन डैशबोर्ड सो आई कैन शो यू वी आर वर्क इन लास्ट वीडियो लाइक अ चार्ट काउंट ऑल थिंग वी आर डिट इन साइड लास्ट वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन वर्क लाइक अ फ्रंट साइड सपोज यूजर कैन लॉग इन हाउ यू कैन सी इज ऑर्डर हाउ यू कैन सी इट लाइक अ डैशबोर्ड अकाउंट डिटेल्स ऑल थिंग वी कैन शो इन साइड Order means uh, he is a account. Here is a logout button there, but we can change to logout to his name. So this name again, see click. So we need to open the dashboard. So before we can start for this video, so you are new in the channel, otherwise in the series, so please subscribe and please press the bell icon. So whatever content we are uploading inside Error Solution, so you always get the notification. You can start immediately new thing learning. And also, do you want to buy any script? Just go to our official website and you can buy it like Error Solution Code dot com. Okay. so let's start so first we need to do like a dashboard so we need to here change like a name of the users before we can change the name of the users we need to check our mola themes inside anything is available is a dashboard so i have already opened my mola themes in my another folders like here you can see it here is already their dashboard.html file just i will open dashboard.html file so you can see it look like a good here showing the dashboards here showing the orders i know is a available in one page but we don't want to do one page we need to make like a multiple page for this one so put dashboard so different page orders so different page like downloads so we don't need because orders inside already there assess so we don't need just we need like account details so he can edit his profile like this we need so we can short out in this video okay so let's start now and is here already there dashboard so we can copy this code and we can put it in our side So let's go to here and we can change here name first. So resources, views, layout inside header dot blade dot php. Is it taking few seconds? Let's scroll down, and here you can go down, go downs. Here's where is the logout buttons? Let's search logout button so we can do it very quick. Here you can see it like a logout button. You see? So here we can change. Like logout remove and here you can change like auth users name and also we need to change like admin logout here we can change like user slash dashboard. Let's go back again, refresh the page, and we can check it's working, not working. So here you can see like admin because I log in as admin. Suppose you are click on, so the new routes will open users dashboard. So we need to create for this new routes. So just go to routes and then you to go web dot php. Just scroll down. So here is the admin middleware. We don't want to do here, and here is a no any user middleware. So first we need to create a user middleware. So just go to app http controller. Sorry middleware. Here you can see it like an admin middleware we have created. So just you can copy this middleware and we can create a new middleware as a user middleware. So new files and we can do it here. user middleware so control s and here you can search check like this click and here you can change the name user middleware otherwise you can do it is a command y so but also possible but is take time this is an i did directly user middleware now i'll copy all thing inside admin middleware and i paste here and just copy again name and i will change the class name and also i will remove this space don't make a space here now here you don't want to check like this Just you can do is already log in, so going to inside. Admin can access as a users and means admin can access user means admin also work here and also user also work here. This reason I have removed all the condition. Just I have put here. Suppose authentication is good, so just go inside. Now we need to go to kernel dot php files and we can make it like a users. Let's go where I can click. Sorry, app. HTTP and here you can see kernel dot php. Just scroll down, so here you can see it like admins. Simple, you can copy paste and here you can change the name, like user admin middle to user middleware. And here you can change like a users. Okay, now we need to go to like route dot web dot php means route inside web dot php. Same thing we are doing admin, so just you can make it same thing as the users. Okay, 
So you can see here is a user middle way. This the all is the admin access route. Now user access route. Just copy this line and put here. It's very simple, very easy. Okay. Now here you can change like our URL. So dashboards is there already. So just you can change like admin to users. Let's go to app HTTP controller inside. You can see admin. Admin inside for this dashboard work. So we can create another controller like a user controller. User controller inside we can put like all thing. So we need to create outside. We don't want to create inside admin. Just here you can create a new controller, new file, user controller. S. So select anyone. So we can change direct name like a user controller and save. Now here we can provide a, like a, our controller coding. So just go to any controller and you can copy paste. So what I'm going to home controller and I copy and I paste here and here I can change the name of the class. Okay. Now I go to web here. I can also change like user controller and I go up and I can declare here. Okay, so here declaration done. Also, now we need to create a new function inside user controller dashboards. And here also you can change like a dashboards. Okay, we have no meta keywords, meta description, so we don't need anything. Now we need to create a new folder here, user. Inside we need to create a new file like a dashboard. So just go to resources, inside views, inside we can create a new folder as a users. And user inside we need to create a new file please carefully watch so what i am doing and dashboard.blade.php okay so you can see it here now here we need to put our html so first of all you can go to any pages like a product page inside go and you can copy like detail okay and you can put here now you can remove all thing inside behind and just clean and we don't need this is the plugin so also remove and we don't need inside scripting inside all the plugins just remove let's save these files and just go back again refresh the page so it's working very well now we need to go to our mola themes inside we need to open like a dashboard.html files go to opens and after we can open again like a detail and inside you can search like a main class main inside a dashboard.html file so just you can minimize here and you can copy all thing and you can put inside dashboard.blade.php like a here. Okay. Let's go back again and we can refresh the page. So you can see it's working very well. No any issue. Now here you can change like dashboard. Here also do you want to change? We don't need this one. So just removing like orders we can need. Like let's make a dividation first after we can tell you what we need to remove. Okay. Just go up and here we need to create a new function like aside means new file as a side menu. So just you can create a new file here like a side bar dot blade dot php. Okay. Let's go back again and copy all the codes and put inside. It's very simple, very easy. Now here we need to call same like we have call inside layouts inside app.blade.php like a include. Just copy and put here and here you can change to users and here you can change the sidebar. Okay, let's go back again and we can check it's working, not working. So just refresh the page. So it's working very well. Now we don't need this one. So just removing because you need so you can leave it. I don't want to need so I removed it. And also I can change here directly dashboard. Okay, let's go back again, refresh the page. So you can see dashboard, but we need to make a space here because look like a look like a show good this reasons. So let's put here space like a BR. Let's go back again, refresh the page just down okay now here you can see dashboard otherwise you can leave it one br so also look like a goods just go back refresh the page yes good now now this is the dashboard but now we need to create a own page all suppose i am going to back again sidebar let's close other files we don't need now anymore so you can't confuse 
just you can leave it sidebar and you can leave it dashboard play.php now here you can see it like an active class like this works we don't want to work as an active class just you can remove the active class let's see active class we can leave it so here's the highlight so we can leave it okay we don't want to need like an id like this so just remove all things and leave it like simple dashboards let's go back again refresh the page here so we need to check error there not there so here we need to provide like SREF URL user dashboard. Okay, let's go back again, refresh the page. Sorry. Let's click here. It's working very well. No issue. Now we need to copy and paste bottom. We don't want to put here active class. So here second point means second menu we can do it like a orders. Just change here. Let's remove. We don't want to need other things, so just remove short out. And here we we have already the logout URL, so just you can use like a URL admin logout. This is the already there, so we can use directly. Okay. Just you can put like this. Now here you can change like a edit profile. So we can use and let's copy first this one after we can change so look like a professional and good means we don't want to take much tab always professional work we are trying okay just remove we can do it another thing is a change password sometime user need to change his password so here you can do it like a change password so let's copy and paste here we need to change all the urls now we can sort out like edit profiles Second is the orders. Okay, let's go back again. Refresh the page here, so we can check is there any error there, not there. So no any errors. Now I will click in the orders. So this page also need, but first we can sort out like a dashboard inside. Okay, so let's go to back again dashboard.blade.php. Here we don't need like a rest of, so just you can remove like all the tabs. Just minimize. And you can remove here. Okay, here also we need to do remove like show and fads like this. There, just you can clean the codes like this. Okay, let's go back again, refresh the page so we can check any error there, cannot there. Mm, just we is not working, so let's open the pack tab. Also, need to remove. So we can check error there. Okay, now showing. Check you can remove this class here there. Okay, because it's showing the hidden. This is the reason. But I will remove this directly. Here we can work our like a dashboard works. But right now you can make it like a blank. Otherwise, you can leave it whatever do you want to think. Let's remove so it look like a clean. Let's leave it. We don't want to make a clean. This reasons. Okay. And just remove all the commented code so look like a good this is the reasons after your decision do you want to leave it you can leave it i always try to make a good this reasons okay let's go back again replace the page now here is showing you like assets img page header dot blade dot page we don't want to need just remove these tiles okay and let's go back again refresh the page so we can check look like a gray color is good inside background so we don't want to need like a here background images just remove. So this is the order page means dashboard page is done. Now we need to provide here active class inside sidebar. Like whatever page I am going to, so active need. So before we can do active, we can create a, these pages like a order pages. Routes web.php and we can copy paste. And here also we can put like a orders. Now just go to dashboard controller. Sorry, user. Okay, I, I have made a wrong place. Just go up and you can put here. And here you can change like a user controller to dashboard. Now you can go to like user controllers and inside you can create a new function. Same thing, just copy paste, not big deals. Here you can change also orders. And here you can create a new file inside a user folder. 
blade.php just go to backend dashboard.blade.php and you can copy for the files just copy and paste here now here you can change like a orders okay let's go back again refresh the page here and i click on the orders now method that okay let's save this file because i have not saved this file web.php this reasons just save this files refresh the page so it's working very well no issue you see orders and here is active class not working so we can short out also active class so just go to admin inside you can go to layouts inside you can see it like a header.blade.php and just scroll down so here you can see it like a segment just copy the segment and you can put inside our sidebar like here like whatever place you are working just you can change here here you can change like a second segment is a dashboard just put here here also you can do it like this and just put here space same thing you can do it orders same thing you can do it like edit profile same thing you can do it like a change passwords and here you can change sorry here okay let's go back again refresh the page so we can check it's not working so you can see now it's going to order suppose i'm click on the dashboard so it's dashboard so highlights working very well let's short out like two pages more like edit profile and change passwords let's go back again codes and here i can make like a edit passwords sorry edit profile and now next pages is like a change password click close close now we can copy this change passwords and put here also we need to change here name now we need to create a new functions inside user controller same thing and copy paste above one two times and now you can copy paste here this is the we can do it very quick this reasons and also you can change here very simple way and also you can change change passwords passwords and here also you can change like a edit profile okay now you can create a new files inside a user same thing we have created like orders files we can create here is a users inside a two file more like edit profile and change password now another files we can create like a change passwords Okay. let's go to dashboard and we can copy and you can put inside both files just save here we can change passwords and also here we can change like a edit profile let's close both files and we can check is working not working so refresh the page so edit profile also working here is a title there here we can check like a change password also working and dashboard orders also working so means every page has been created successfully and also is a logout to the sign out whatever you can told me like this work let's change to sign out to logout look like a professional because we are using this and not use login and logout because otherwise you can use sign in and sign out otherwise you can use login otherwise logout but in this project we are using the logout this is the reasons okay let's go back again login buttons i log in as an admin and I just sign in. Now here you can go to admins again because the name showing, so you can see it. Now we are changed to logout. Okay, so in this video, I have covered set up all the HTML dashboard, edit profile, and change passwords and logout. Next video, we can make like a one by one dynamic. First, we can short out or dashboard after orders, edit profile, and change password. One by one, you can find out all video and you can see it here. So next video, I can show you how to make dashboard dynamics same as the admin side we have made. We can try it here also, like all the box shows so people know what is the total money he pay, what is the total orders, like this, like this, we can show it here. Okay, and do you have any question? 
so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to say like this video more so please subscribe our error solution and thank you for watching error solutions